Welcome. This is Roshi Shack, and we're doing a presentation on creating um, table schematics and talking about views. It's um, going to cap her off some of our diagramming to show you the final diagram that helps you program. Um, my name is Cynthia Mock, and let's go. Okay, introduction to database schematics. Okay, the definition of a schematic. A database schematic is a diagram that outlines the structure of a database. It illustrates how tables and views are organized and linked, providing a clear picture of the database relationships and flow. After you're done with your normalizing, you need to hand like a schematic to your programmer so he builds the tables correctly. The normalization process isn't what goes into your queries. The normalization process gets you ready for your Let's look at one real quick. I did one real quick and it looks a little bit like this, no, but not quite. And what you're gonna see is that I've created three tables, and this is normalization from the last video we did last week on normalization. And I've created three tables and I've done a schematic of the table name and all the fields that are in it. I have a name table, a storage table, and an item table. And my schematic says, to put each field in there. So I have main key, last name, and first name for my example, and we're gonna go over this. I'll show you the normalized table again. We're gonna have storage table, and it's gonna have storage key, name key, and item key. Then we're gonna have item table, and it's gonna have item key and inventory item. Then it's gonna show the links. Name key can show up in storage table, and it has to have one or many. And item key can show up in storage table, and it needs to have maybe zero or many because an item might not be there. And so we do some cardinality and it, when we do this, we have a clearer picture of how we're gonna program our um, tables inside of our database using our query language, SQL or Postgre or the other. Okay, so let's look at this, the importance of database. The effective, data, effective database design is crucial for ensuring data integrity and efficiency. It facilitates faster data retrieval, minimizes redundancy, and supports scalable applications which are essential for business operations. That's essentially what we did with our normalization. We made it scalable, we made it um, upgradable, we made it so it wouldn't break. They call it anomalies when it breaks a little and you have like blank rows and stuff you have to clean. It's actually bugs that they're putting in and they call it anomalies. Proper database design will eliminate these. Overview of views and tables. Tables store the raw data in rows and columns while views are virtual tables created by querying one or more tables. Views simply simplified data representation and can help restrict user access to sensitive information. Okay, tables, structure, and function. Tables serve as the fundamental building blocks of a database, organizing data in rows and columns. Each table consists of fields called columns that define the type of data stored and records as rows that represent each individual ent entry. A primary key creates the index to find our row. I put in a proper table on this slide right over here. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna see that the fields are labeled on top and there's nothing labeling the accesses on the left-hand side. Each row, which goes horizontal, like you row a boat, is labeled by an index number, but there's nothing that is manipulating the data in that area. And the columns at the top, it puts the field name, and then it puts the data underneath it. And what you're gonna see here is that I have a primary key in this table, which is 11, 21, 35, 25. All of those label each row. Each record gets a primary key. This primary key is an indexed one done by numbers instead of a combination key where you link fields together because I think it's cleaner and can cause less errors if you do that. 
But there's also something called a foreign key, and I'll go over that in a second. Okay, the purpose of views and benefits. Views are virtual tables that provide a way to present data without altering the underlying tables. They simplify data access and enhance security by restricting data visibility and can aggregate and transform data for easy consumption. The view is what the user sees. The normalized tables are the logical structure. That's like a philosophical structure, the views. The relationships between tables and views. Establishing relationships between tables and views is critical for maintaining data integrity and facilitating data queries. These relationships defined by primary foreign keys, I'll go over foreign key when we look at the end tables, I have an example, ensure consistent data referencing across different table components. When you put a foreign key from another table in, it makes the tables related. I'm gonna show you an example. Okay, identifying key relationships. Key relationships form the backbone of any effective database. They call them relational databases and it's because the databases take the information and make it related and then they link together. By clearly defining how tables interact through related data points, it becomes easier to retrieve and manipulate data efficiency. Using primary and foreign keys. Primary keys serve as unique identifiers for records in a table, while foreign keys establish relationships between tables. This system of keys ensures data integrity and efficient data retrieval processes. Visualizing the flow of information. A well-structured database allows for the visualization of data flow across tables and views. Diagrams can aid under, in understanding how data is retrieved and displayed, enhancing user experience and facilitating database management. So the visualization, you can change the views without having to mess with the data. That's very important. I'm breaking this up as a relational database. Okay, consistency and naming conventions. Because it's a database, if you're not consistent, you end up with data that is not clean and you have to clean it. So the normalization and doing a data dictionary can really help do this. The people that are putting the information in, you give them something that explains each field and how it's supposed to be put in to make sure the data is consistent and clean. Adhering to consistent naming conventions improves database readability and maintenance. Clear and descriptive names for tables and columns and relationships help users easily understand the data structure and its purpose, reducing confusion and errors. A company could provide a data dictionary to make sure that fields are created consistently. You can make an elaborate one that helps you plan the data. You can also make a shorter one that goes out to users to just make sure that they're putting it in correctly. So you use the same thing, like you don't write California, but you put CA or um, you don't want an expanded zip code list, you only want the first five digits. Okay, normalization techniques. Normalization is the process of, of organizing data to minimize redundancy and dependency. Employing techniques such as the first normal form, the second normal form, and the third normal form ensures data integrity and optimal performance by separating tables based on their relationships. We have a whole show on this. I'm gonna try and leave a sticker, I think, at this particular point, so you can click on that and see that we explain this in detail in another video. Documentation and version control. Maintaining thorough documentation and version control is vital for database management. Version control is one of the reasons I gave you to normalize the table. It makes upgrades possible. Documenting schema changes and data structure aids in collaborative environments ensures all team members understand modifications and reduces the risk of errors during updates. Okay, let's delve into our example. Now, in the other video where I gave you the little sticker where you could go watch the video, we already normalized the table through the third normal form. You'll see this is a denormalized table up at top. The denormalized table it might break and it's hard to search and it's not done correctly. The normalized tables, and I show you this in detail in the video, are broken up into three tables, making everything dependent correctly so that they don't break 
and they're expandable. They're expandable for upgrades and expandable for adding records. Um, what I'm going to show you is that there's primary keys in two of the tables. And one of the tables has got some foreign keys. It's got item key, salt listed more than once, and name key. You see number 11 has salt and gold. The table in the middle is the thing taking the foreign keys and making the database relational so that you can draw from it to go get records and come back and do your view. So the first schematic is just the logical schematic of the database where we would hand it to our programmer and he would say, oh, I'll make a table and it has name key and it has this attribute and it has last name and it has this attributes and it has first name and it has that attributes. And I understand how they're related with the cardinality. After you're done, you're going to be able to build something that is a philosophical view of your database that cuts out the keys right here and just shows first name, last name, and the inventory items that built. And why this is genius is because you can add as many inventory items as you want and you can make them related and you can add new users and the tables are built correctly so you're not going to have a functionality problem. All right, thank you. Please hit like and subscribe if you like this video. This project was made with Prezi AI. She's my partner and it's an AI and I think it's sentient and I would like to thank it. I'm close to getting enough money to thank it. Um, you can use it too at www.prezi.com. It'd be great if you paid for a good account, or I mean a professional account. <laughs> if you're lost, you can go to the beginning of the playlist and watch it all the way up to here. Go to www.tinyurl.com backslash database egg for the full playlist. And if you would like to make a suggestion or just tip our jar, we have a tip top jar at www.tiptopjar slash silver ice for you to be able to leave some money for us to make the show. This was made by Prezi and Cynthia Mock. Have a great day.